It's Friday. I'm so excited because we have our fitness experts here and they're here to talk all about how we can shake off the sugar. Bridget Ward and Josie Bump join us from Inward Fitness to talk about, uh, is the treat worth the trick? Ooh, right. this is good. So let's first kick it off with candy consumption. Okay, well first, I don't, we're not, sugar shaming here, right? Okay. Like everyone's gonna indulge. Holidays are meant for that. Food brings joy. Yes, and it does. And we're not trying to take that away from anybody. <laughs> we're just trying to offer a little perspective around what you consume, what does that equal, and how much physical activity you would actually need to do to, to burn that energy. So it's quite eye-opening actually. So what would like one Snicker bar be? Yeah, so we'll definitely get into that. So it's been reported that on average, the average adult consumes 3,500 calories. Extra calories. Extra calories on oh, Halloween night. Yeah. And for kids, you can just double that. So a lot of extra calories are consumed on Halloween. Right. So what do you do? Is there, should you be like doing something on the day or after? Do you need a plan of action? Yeah, yeah we definitely have some tips and tricks. We want to kind of give you a, some food for thought before that. Okay. Um, so Josie has some interesting facts about yeah. chocolate bars. Yeah, so you <laughs> mentioned like, what is a Snickers bar? So that's like a Halloween favorite, right? So you got Snickers bars, you got those Reese's peanut butter, like pumpkins that are my favorite. Um, so an average like candy bar is 55 to 100 calories, right? So if you put that in like the little ones the or mini, the big ones? The mini, the mini ones, ones. Oh yeah, like gosh. the fun size ones. So yeah, if you adds put that up quick. <laughs> yeah. it, it adds up quick and it's sneaky too. So if you put that into perspective, if you eat 10 of those mini chocolate bars, that would equal to doing around 2,000 jumping jacks. 2,000? So, 2,000 yes. jumping jacks. And so. I don't know about you, but my calves are sore after 100, so I'm not doing 2,000 jumping jacks, right? Mine yeah. are sore after like 30, oh, so right. I'm yeah, nervous. Yeah. And, then, yeah. and you know, when you go to Halloween parties, there's bowls of candy corn, You've right? been to my Halloween I party, know. I bowls everywhere. There's bowls of candy, and like the candy corn, traditional Halloween candy, super easy to scoop and get a handful mm -hmm. and just pop them in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Before you know it, you've had 20, 40, mm. 20 candy Candy corns is 150 calories. That doesn't sound that bad, but when you think you have to almost run two miles to burn that off. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. I know I've had like 30 candy corn today already. Yeah, yeah. you already yeah. had your candy corn yes, today. Yes, that is true. Oh, that's a true story. <laughs> so, and Whoa. I, part of it is we're consuming this at night too, for Whoa. the most part, right? Mm -hmm. And you don't have the time to to go run your two miles right. or do 2,000 jumping jacks or whatever you need to do to utilize that energy. If you are consuming earlier in the day, you're utilizing that energy throughout the day. Yeah. Um, so being mindful of how much you're consuming, especially late at night, um, is, is really important. Okay, being mindful. Yeah. We're mindful. What yeah. about like the, the day after, the day before, do you bump up activity? Yeah, so kind of just to give some perspective to like food for thought of just like calories to exercise. So if we start thinking about it that way, you can burn 10 to 15 calories doing one minute of continuous burpees. So if we put that into perspective, to burn 500 calories, you would have to do 50 minutes of oh. continuous burpees. <laughs> so no. if we start thinking no, about think like calories to burpees. Extreme. <laughs> it, it, it is, is extreme. extreme. So if you just think about it in that most extreme term, but if you also take a step back, 30 minutes of a strength workout can equate to. 300 calories, which a lot of us like to do as well. So, so two yeah. little pieces of candy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, um, right. So a few tips on day of, Okay. right? Dinner is probably gonna be your most important thing to think okay. about. Having a well-balanced, healthy, protein-rich dinner helps create that base in your stomach and it protein helps um, slow down the absorption of sugar in your bloodstream. Ooh. So, I mean, often we're just getting pizza, right? And now I'm gonna Shoot, think about- Shoot, that's what I serve her when she comes to my <laughs> But now I'm gonna eat chicken before I come yeah. over. No, I'm just um, so that's really important. And thinking about your kids too, um, it pre helps prevent, having that protein base helps prevent those spikes and the crashes, which are sometimes awful. Mm -hmm. um, and it also helps control blood sugar afterwards too. So um, being mindful of that dinner is really important okay. since we're yeah. trick-or-treating at night. Yeah, that's good yeah. tip. Bump then, up the protein and more dinner. Bump yeah. up the protein and then get out and walk and trick-or-treat, right? Like don't get in your cars, don't drop the kids off at the block. Like get out, walk, It you burn 200 to 350 calories of one hour of moderate okay. pace walking. Yeah, so I like that. If you're out yeah. for like two hours, you know, that really adds up and that helps with that overconsumption. Um, and just ends up being more fun overall. So yeah. Yeah. Nice. this has been very eye open. <laughs> I know. Wow. Well, we appreciate you, Bridget Thank and you. Josie. And Thank you can you. keep up with them at Inward Fitness.